Hey everyone, welcome to this edition of Chet Chat, where the guest on the show is a second year student from London School of Economics, pursuing international relations, Siddharth Shah. Welcome to the show, Siddharth. Hi. So going from India, this was really your first time that yeah. you stayed away from home. Yeah. And what was the first thing that struck you about LSE? Uh, I think the first thing was the the nature of how everyone talked about internships and about opportunities and jobs. And I was like, wow, I've come here to study. And here the first thing that I'm hearing is that people just start applying for spring week, start applying for the second year, penultimate year internships, start applying for jobs. And there's a clear progression that you have to go through. And in the first few weeks, I got pretty overwhelmed. And I kept on uh, trying to refine my CV. Like any society that you joined, uh, like the investment society, they had seminars where you could improve your CV. So uh, I think that was one of the main things that struck me about LSE but uh, there was also you know a feeling of uh, like this is the right hand of the political spectrum yeah. and on the left hand there's something completely different which is also what resonated with me and which is what resonates throughout LSE the the complete divide between the sort of people who are there at the university so there's one chunk that wants to get into banking and finance yeah. and the other one that wants to be probably in an NGO yeah uh, for profit think tanks a lot of that stuff the left hand which is the left wing of the political spectrum the, the students who like po uh, politics with philosophy and uh, and a lot of them which are very politically charged like and the Political opinions on campus come from those people. So in the first year, uh, the program consisted of uh, studying four modules. Uh, we had to do two pre-given uh, pre modules which were uh, HY116 which is international uh, history since 1890 and uh, IR100 which is concepts of international society. The third module we could uh, choose out of a uh, option, out of three options and uh, I chose introduction to political theory because I thought that was really interesting and uh, we studied thinkers like Machiavelli and Hobbes and Locke and it gi basically gives you a great insight into how these people thought and why you should analyze how they, what, what they thought about and how you should analyze stuff and uh, the fourth module was one that you could choose out of anything so I chose economics which is which I think it's it's one of my favorite subjects and I love doing that sure so basically you have four courses to do yeah. in a year two are predetermined yeah one is a choice between three or four and one is completely open yeah yeah so it breaks the myth that there's no flexibility yeah there's actually quite a lot of flexibility uh, so for the first year I did economics and this year I'm thinking of doing half a unit of math and half a unit of statistics. Uh, so basically my end goal for my optional courses was to study this one course called FM212 which is Principles of Finance and it's one of the main courses at LSE and it's one of the courses that LSE is very well known for. So I really wanted to study that because as an LSE student you should do this, the, the courses that the school is famous for. Sure, sure. And yeah. why not? And finance is an area yeah. of interest for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like equity research is something I'd like to do in the future. Yeah. Fabulous. Okay, talking about housing. Yeah. Your bank in the middle of London and I believe yeah. you get first year housing Accordment, is, yeah. you, you, is provided for. Yeah. So what do students do going forward? Okay, so in the second year what most people do is they get an apartment of their own in, in central London which is not too far from, the, uh, from LSE. Uh, but there are lots of other options also because people can stay in student halls. So a few of my friends are staying in this place called Urban S Westminster. There's one at King's Cross. There are lots of places like Nido and uh, International Hall and stuff. Then people can also apply to the LSE halls again if they feel like. Uh, slightly more, it's actually much more difficult to get a place there. But what I wanted was to stay in an apartment of my own in central London so that I'd get a lot more autonomy and I'd be able to do what I wanted and you know I wanted to learn how to live on my own as just preparation for the future. So uh, four, four of us decided to get an apartment together and uh, where I was looking for apartments was on this website called Zoopla. Then there are also places like Gumtree and uh, there are also places like the University of London Housing uh, website and the LSE thing called Student Pad but that's not too great. The University of London Housing thing is really good. So first what you do is you search for a house that you think will be right. So you just uh, you just put in some parameters like maybe three miles away from your place or you know uh, one mile away. 
um, what we did was we found the apartment and we scheduled lots of viewings for different apartments because we put a short list in first and uh, we just went and looked at the place and it was absolutely brilliant like it was one of the best apartments we could get and uh, while we were walking on the way home I put in an offer and while we just when we reached back to the hall with the offer was accepted wow. and and I didn't know that that was going to be you know the first in a list of many things that we'd have to do to get the apartment because we had to negotiate with the landlord, we had to put in housing deposit fees, we had to put in a security deposit uh, and also the thing is that if you don't have any uh, like references you have to pay for a six month intern uh, for, for six months rent and then we had to sign a contract and then we had to sign this leasing agreement and read through the bunch of details in the contract. It's a very time consuming process, it'll all be worth it in the end. Siddharth, so would you like to share with us a bit about the societies and the other activities that you're involved with uh, in campus? Yeah, so um, I'm the treasurer of the film society. So uh, I have, I've always loved films and TV shows and stuff and I watch quite a lot of things. So last year I was a screenings officer. So every Thursday I had to go and uh, organize a screening, very different genres. And uh, we take people for outings. And last year uh, some of us went to Berlin for the film festival, uh, the Berlin Alley, And it's one of the most famous ones in the world. So we're thinking of more outings and we keep on collaborating with other societies. So for example, we've already decided that we're going to collaborate with the Black uh, History Society for, a black, for the Black History Month. Uh, so uh, we're going to organize screenings for that, we're going to take people to the BFI Film Festival. Uh, next year we're thinking of going to Rotterdam for the Film Festival which is one of, again one of the biggest in the world. Then uh, last year again I was uh, part of the Investment Society and I was in the Special Projects Committee. Then uh, I was part of the Consultancy Society so they also organize lots of events and, uh, and speaking events where you can hear people who are in the industry, you can understand how to get into the industry, how it is. So it provides you with a great view on how to get in, on how to uh, survive in the industry, on what you'd be doing later on. So these societies are, and there are, there are a wide amalgamation of societies in LSC, so anyone can join whatever they want and they can have a lot of fun. Super, so talking about the weather, yeah. what would be some quick tips you want to give to someone heading into London for the first time? Okay, so what I do is I carry this one jacket from Super Dry all the time and it's one of the best things I have. If I, if I had to pack one thing in my suitcase, I would pack that and uh, always keep an umbre umbrella in your backpack if you're going anywhere because it just starts raining at random points. But the thing about the weather is that it's not as bad as it's advertised because it doesn't rain heavily like it does in Bombay, it just drizzles most of the time, so it's not too bad. So tell us one interesting experience that you had in your first year. You know, I mean, it was interesting and it was kind of harrowing also. Uh, so I went in this thing called Rag Gets Lost and Rag is the raising and giving uh, arm of LSE, so it's the charity. We had to be blindfolded and we were going to be taken to any spot in England okay. within the course of the day. We had to be blindfolded during the bus journey. So it started early in the morning. We were dropped off in this city called Barry. It's a, it's a town in Wales okay. and uh, when we just opened the blindfold we realised that we had reached there. We had no idea where we were and uh, we had to get back home within the within the day. So it was actually... GPS? Uh, yeah, we had our phones okay. but I mean it's not that easy to navigate through a random place that you've never gone and you have to hitchhike. And uh, my friend and I actually got lost in Wales and uh, we somehow got onto this train that took us all the way to London. Wow. So yeah, and it was uh, it was actually a very difficult experience at the time but when you look back upon it I can understand that you know it's one of the defining moments of the first year for me. Sure, so you did all this without any money? Oh yeah, we, had, we, first yeah we could not use any money. Yeah. Wow, wow. Thanks yeah. so much for sharing that. Thank you. That. It was such a great experience having yeah. you on the show. Thank you. Thanks. Please click the subscribe button below. Like me at facebook.com slash chatchat101. Follow my Twitter handle chatchat101 or at Instagram chatchat101. Please leave your comments in the sections below and if you'd like me to feature any particular college, please let me know. Thank you.